I don't have nowhere to wear this jacket. All right, fellas. Uh, whenever y'all ready, we can go ahead and start it. I'm ready. I'm ready, baby. All right. Actually, give me one. Actually, give me one more second. I just want to make sure I get Sid's green popped out. Let me get some background one day. Y'all can smoke on here. Yep. It ain't like we can smell it. You gonna need it. You gonna need it. <laughs> oh, speaking, of, I gotta go pick up some edibles. Sid, you smoke on camera? I don't like that. Oh uh, man, Clint, I thought you was about to like literally get up right now and go get get some edibles. Away nah, I gotta go pick them. I gotta go pick them up from uh, from uh, another part of Philly, man. Uh, okay. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here too, man. I can't. I don't like Philly. What do you mean? Oh, you from? I said, boy, are you from when Philly? I said, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nigga. I, I see. I see people. why. I see, but you know what? You ever leave somewhere? You see why other people don't like your. I see why people hate Philly. I get it. I, I was leaving at. I was leaving at this. The Morris twins are from Philly, and I don't trust them. So. What well, niggas got to pay me? Who? The, 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 the got, Morris uh, twins. <laughs> yeah, the nigga. The yeah, niggas they, crazy. Both of them crazy. I don't trust them. So. Just a tad. Just a tad bit. <laughs> just a snitching. Just a snitch. <laughs> All right. Like I said, we're ready whenever, y'all. We're good. All right. Let's do this. I count for you in. Uh, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Black Blasphemy. As you can see, we've changed a few things up. It's no longer just the arcade tokens. I think we've taken, we, we've laid the groundwork for this blasphemous show of things to say that you would never say at the cookout. So now the arcade tokens are hosting their individual episodes so we can bring other people on to bring the blasphemy. And I had to bring probably three of the realest comedians who have no problem stating their opinion and going against the grain. So today I got Louis G, Sidney Castile, and Clint Coley. What's going on, gentlemen? How you doing, man? How you doing? What up, baby? What up? What's good? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So the way Are this we allowed is, to cuss? Yes, this is this is a no oh, way, way, way to ask now. <laughs> you want to cuss so bad, right? Uh, <laughs> Yo, can we cuss this shit? Is that cool? Before you, get, before you do the intros, get through. Hey, can a nigga be him? Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> That's why I brought all three of y'all together. Uh, so for those that know, and for those that don't know how this works, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around and we're gonna have you select from four categories. We got general black culture, we got food, music, and then movies and television. Now, the person who chooses the category is going to have to figure out who said this blasphemous statement. And it could be any one of us, and that is including the host me so um i am gonna go ahead and select lou g to go first lou go ahead and select the category and we're gonna put up the first blasphemous statement you have two minutes to figure out who said this statement all right shit. let's uh let's go with music all, all right, right. Head to music. um so usually we do uh throwing under the bus uh between us and the arcade token so they're not here, so I'll throw myself under the bus. I have never listened to a Biggie album. Uh, well, that doesn't—that doesn't—that doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't shock not, me. But yeah, like, it doesn't shock me. Either. It doesn't shock me. Like, but I feel like I've heard your, your your opinion on Biggie, and I feel like now knowing that you've never listened to a Biggie album, that your opinion on on how good or how not good Biggie is could use a revisit. I heard his hits. I heard his hits. No, nah, nah, but but you got to go beyond the hits. That's like, like hits are one thing, but like hearing a whole like album, hearing a whole project and seeing how all of the music comes together, that that's the next level beyond how on how you can truly like measure to see how, how good somebody is. I'm going to give it a listen just because of how you explained it. Don't nobody put it eloquently like that. Just because of you, I'm going to give Biggie his respect and listen to this album. Every time somebody else said, I'd be like, I'm still not downloading. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right. Uh, Kadeem, are we ready? We are ready. Let's do it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Go ahead and read it, Lou. Yeah, Jagged Edge is wildly overrated, and you can tell the story of R&B 
without them niggas. I know it doesn't say niggas, but I added niggas for a fact. Um, the first person I'm going to say, I'm going to say my good friend, uh, Clint Coley. You think Clint Coley? Why do you think Clint Coley said this? Because I, I feel like I've had this conversation with Clint before. Because uh, you know they did the verses with 112 uh, a couple months back. And uh, so I'm, I'm a Jagged Edge fan. For whatever reason, I can't stand 112. Uh, so he and I and a few others within our, our, our circle were having this conversation. And I, I think I remember Clint saying something like this, where he said, hey, you could tell the story of R&B without them niggas. And that's, that, that definitely sounds like some Clint would say. I feel, like, I feel like Clint wants to write them niggas out the R&B storybook. Okay, okay. Uh, Clint, would you like to defend yourself? Is I am it- definitely going to, I'm definitely going to defend yourself. First of all, yeah, I said it. And I said it. I said it. I said it. I said it. And I'm going to tell you why I said it. All right. Say First all of day. all, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. All right. I think, I, I do I think they can sing? Absolutely. Do I think they're good? Absolutely. But the way that my culture or the way that my generation got people from ages, I'm going to say 25 to 35, put them on a pedestal. It's awful. First of all, they're not even. First of all, they're not even in the top five groups of their era. Let alone being a top five R and B group of all time. They're not even a top ten R and B group of all time. Let me ask you this: What did their albums do for the culture? What did their albums do for for, for music? What did their albums do for R and B? Let me give you some examples. All right, New Edition. One of the best R and B R and B groups. Everybody knows Heartbreak is a classic album. Not only is Heartbreak a classic album, but they had spinoffs. Bobby Brown had a great album. Bell Bib DeVoe had a great album. Ralph, Ralph Tresfant had a so so album. Nothing to Johnny, do with the group of spinoffs. Just hear me it's out. Right. It doesn't matter. It's they still. To I told you they still. Had, I still said they had a classic album. The Heartbreak is a classic album. Bottom line, whether you like it or not. All right, you want to go to another group? All right, Jodeci, Forever My Lady. That's a classic album, my guy. You want to go with another group? The Temptations. Yes, you know, classic albums, classic songs. How many? What? What? Tell me what Jagged Edge has done to make you say, "Oh man, these guys are great. These guys are classic. These guys are." No, they're decent at best. Well, damn. Wait, uh, wait. Sydney, Sydney, would you like to Clint's, rebuttal? Clint, Clint's off his rocker. He just said they got classic albums, and then his point was, who was When did I say who? Who, who had? Wait, 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 wait. When did I say? Let me finish. What, you when did I say that Jagged Edge had? Wait, wait, When did I say Jagged Edge had? No, no, no. Quote me right. Quote me right. Quote me right. Oh, no, sir, 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 we're not going to have a presidential debate here. Now, sir, you did have your time. Um, I did. All right, you're right. But he had to tell him to quote Jagged, me correctly. Coach, 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 can you talk to him? I just feel like Jagged Edge is, is for me, it was the first song I ever sung to a girl was I Gotta Be. It was like, man. It was like, I remember singing that on the phone. Like, that album is classic. Yes. All the, the second album is dope as hell. Like, I remember I was in college, my freshman year in college, like when I thought this girl was gonna have a baby, I remember J.E., that album is like the Red Album. Like they got yes. hits. The Let fact that you about, call it the Red Album. And it's classic. Let me tell you something about 112. They don't never perform at the BET Awards. You know why? Because we don't <laughs> want to see them there. You know, you know why 112 are never at the awards? Because we don't want to see them there. You know why 112, you know how they have outside, Tell them singers, outside singers? Sometimes you don't even make it into the show, but they'll let you sing outside. They not outside either. You know why? They on the outside stage. No, they 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 at home being like, damn, they don't fuck with us. It's like J E there. They got your <laughs> ticket, nigga. You know why? Cause they gave you let's get married. They're every wedding for the past 20 years plays in the rotation. They got classic grown up hits. We're sorry that they ain't got little candy bops. They got grown man music hits. That's that's <laughs> right. my point. J E all day. Nothing yeah. is promised. Oh, hear you. So yes, we let this thing go. Yes, I promise. J.E. all day. Name yes. a twin and 112. Can't. Can't name a twin and 112. Name a twin and Jersey. You can't. Name a twin and Jagged Edge. The two lead fucking singers. All right. Oh, there, oh, there you Lou, have it. Lou, would you, right, like, to act, would you like to act like that? No, I just, I just feel like for me, man, like with, with, with Jagged Edge, man, I'm able to connect with a lot of their songs more so than I am with Say a 112. So like mm-hmm. a Wednesday lover, when I hear that, Wednesday when I hear Wednesday lover, Wednesday yeah. lover, Wednesday lover, lover there's no other. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? When I hear stuff like that, or like what yeah. Sid said earlier, what gotta be, when I hear shit like that, or even Let's Get Married, or even some of the other songs that weren't necessarily hits, when I hear those, like, 
I feel it. You know what I'm saying? I can relate to it. I connect to it. When I hear 112, I can't connect all this stuff like that. And now I'm not going to, I'm not going to compare J E to fucking uh new edition or nothing like that. But like, when I look at just in 112, like that's where they go over and beyond for me. Mm-hmm. Put your hand yeah. up. You yes, clear. My point was not about them being better than 112. My point was that Jagged Edge is an overrated R&B group. You guys put them on a pedestal like they're classic, and they're not. The problem is, is that you guys call things classic. You call people legends and don't know what the word classic or legends mean. At the end of the day, to be a legend or to have something that's classic, it has to move the genre forward. Jagged Edge, I can tell you the story of 90s R&B without Jagged Edge. Bottom line, point blank, period. And everybody knows that. If, if Jagged Edge did not exist, trust me, my life would not be in danger. I would be fine. You were in sixth back- grade oh, when Jagged oh, Edge was oh, oh, That's oh, why oh, you don't oh, appreciate you Wait, 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 wait. Hey, Trump, Trump, Trump. Now, now you being Trump. Now you being Trump. Now you being Trump. Now you being Trump. Let me let me start I gave you a back football. Hey, hey. I brought sexy back. Hey, listen, listen. We're not going to have you. But I gave him his time. Yes, you did. You did. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, you did. Reclaiming my time. Reclaim. Look, listen. This is the Clint has the floor. We are going to be respectful in this blasphemous high stakes situation here. Clint, go ahead and finish off your statement so we can go ahead and move forward because you will be next in selecting the categories. All right. So what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going to give you guys actually numbers and you want to get let's I'm going to give you numbers. All right. So, uh, Jagged Edge's first album, uh, A Jagged Era, came out October 21st, 1997. On the U.S. charts, it hit number 104. Um, it came out in 90, 97? 97? 104. First of all, again, I'm speaking. I'm asking. Number I'm asking. Oh, yes, right. 1997. I was 10 years old, all right? So if you want to talk about age, I don't care. At the end of the just because you old as shit and you don't got no hairline, don't mean nothing, all right? With that being said, hey, 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 leave us older niggas alone. I'll kill him on snapping. I'm gonna Jagged Edge's best album, J E Heartbreak, was released January 20, January 18, 2000. That that reached number eight. Number eight. Number eight. You're talking about you you telling me a classic album is number eight? Number eight. No, that's not a classic. That's not Who a said classic. It's a classic though. Your boy Sidney Castillo. I think they got classic albums in my opinion. Okay, they got, I mean, they, they okay. well then, and, then, and, and that's where, you're, and that's you're, why, you're, and that's why I say, took, that's listen, why I say they're listen, overrated. Listen, listen. You said if you took Jagged Edge out, it wouldn't mean nothing to you. No, nigga, you was ten. I was in high school, so yeah. So, so wait a minute, talk about, talk about, talk about. Hold on, hold on, let's have, let's, let's have Sydney finish. Let's have Sydney finish. That's a stupid ass argument. No, 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 no. Your argument, it wouldn't be a good night, nigga. If we took, I know you feel the same about B2K. I don't give a shit about B2K, but I know that show, that show pride and joy, probably. That's when you was in school, and so we took them out. You like, dude, you can't do that, nigga. Jagged Edge is an essential part of '90s R&B. I know you don't care because you were ten. Most of their, but most you of their albums, 10, bro. So you're not supposed to Most care. of their albums was in the 2000s, Sydney. So what are you talking? It don't you don't matter, know you. nigga. I gotta be was in the 90s, nigga. I gotta be came out. I think 97. I think off the top of my head, I want yeah, to. Yeah, the album that reached number. The album that reached number 104. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's still a good but, album, nigga. Absolutely. So yeah. It, it is good. It, yeah, I never listen, said it. Listen, but that's the thing. I never said it wasn't good. So it's just not classic. Classic. At 10 years old, you was looking up album numbers. Hey, album say, numbers. Say, 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 so because I was 10, oh, that's you enjoy so music. You, let me ask you a question. How old are you? I'm 39. Okay, so when you, what year were you, when you, what year, what year were you 10 years old? 1991. Did you watch, did you watch basketball? Were you old enough to appreciate Michael Jordan? Yes. What's that mean? My point exactly. That I means that just because you're just because you're a certain age in 1990 in 1991 you were 10 years old. I can name a couple of classic albums that came out in 1991. Forever My Lady came out in 1991. Does that mean you didn't like it? Does that mean you didn't know what you were listening to? No, you knew exactly what you were listening. Don't bring age into this like you some old guru that know what you're talking about. No, <laughs> nigga, you act like you some young young genius. Of music. I am. I, I, I am. am. I am. I am. All right, listen, 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 y'all. We got to move forward. We got to move forward. We move to the next one. That is it. That is it. That is it. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. But wait a minute. Time out. At 10, I didn't know how to read music. And at 10, I played the saxophone. I thought this nigga was about to come on. I do know how to sing. Right? All right, listen. Let's move forward to the next one. Clint. Will you select the next category? God damn it. <laughs> oh, nigga. 
And this is why oh, Will really? said, get ready to smoke. This is exactly oh, why he's I love it. I love I Actually, I like this. This is my shit. Okay. All right. So next category. Um, I'm going to go. I'm gonna go with black culture. Black general, general black, black culture. culture. General black culture. Let's Once again, it. normally this is our time where we throw folks under the bus, so I will throw myself under the bus. I don't think this is a big one, but um, I name my Kool Aid flavors. Like, oh. I don't say red. I don't say grape. I don't say orange. Like I say, like yo, tropical punch, black cherry. Cherry. Yeah, because okay. like if I didn't, my mom was gonna get the wrong shit. So I had I can respect that. I can respect that. Uh, okay. I can respect okay. that. I can respect okay. that. I can respect that. Okay. Let's go I'm here. Glad do. Let's go in here. I, we're ready. Just a second. Hmm. And let's do it. Can you read that for us, Clint? Wow, y'all gonna do this to me? That's what y'all gonna do? And I know who said it. I know exactly who said it. Uno okay. is better than spades. I can't participate in this conversation, dog. <laughs> I can't participate in this conversation. And 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 Sydney, for you saying some bullshit like this, I am literally going to I, listen. Let me tell y'all something. So Sydney, ladies and gentlemen, for those of y'all that don't know, I got a show called The World Series of Spades. It's on Amazon Prime. The World Series of Spades. One of these people on on this panel is a special guest referee. I'm hoping that I'm wrong that he didn't say this because if he did, I swear to God, I'm scrapping your episodes. And I swear to God, I'm gonna get a new referee. <laughs> I swear, I'm not even joking, dog. Uno is better than Spades. I, I'm gonna say Sydney said it because he would say some blasphemy shit like that, and he knows that he's that I'm on this episode. And that's it. I'm gonna go with Sydney. What happens now? <laughs> what did you was it you said it? You have to let us know if it was a yes or a no. I mean, he came with so much passion. You know, he he threatened to take me off his Amazon stage show. Uh, I didn't say it. You sure? He did. He did. He did. He didn't say it. All right, all right. Well, I, I stand correct. Woof. Luke Wolf, my spot is safe. <laughs> I still got my episode. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I'm about to be yo. So who said it? Will? Damn, dog. That's what we doing. I'm All sorry, right, bro. bro. I sat there. I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time to learn space. I say I support my homie show. Here's the thing. Watching folks play it, great. Love it. If you watch the World Series of Spade, you love it. Playing it, that is the most boring shit I have ever had to sit through in my life. I was like, I'd rather watch someone do it than participate. Uno, you could do either. If you in there, it is a wrap. First of all, don't no rules exist for this game. I tell you all the rules. Skip, nigga, draw for it. <laughs> that's it. That's, that that's just that's just commands. That's not even rule. That's just commands. You know, you can figure that shit out. If no rule book came with that, you know, oh, that's what this means. You make up your own shit. I'm sorry, like I I love watching people play spades. It's funny as hell. Y'all should watch the World Series of Spades on Amazon Prime Video. Yes. But uh, playing that shit, I'm sorry, bro. Uno get everybody hype. I'm with you, Will. I'm with you, my brother. Everybody. Give me a deck of Uno cards any fucking time, dude. And I'm always down to play, Nick. Just the feeling that I get when I'm about to, the way my hand shakes when I have a draw four in my hand and the way, just the way that shit just shakes before I throw that shit down, it just hurts your feelings. Listen, I love the WNBA. I love it. You know, I, <laughs> I think the WNBA is amazing. I think they're amazing <laughs> players. I support the WNBA, right? I think they should get more shine, right? Talk to him, Sid. I, I finally agree on the same page, Sid. Come bring it home, Sid. But for how long, though? <laughs> l l listen, listen, Sid, I appreciate D-League basketball. I, I love Ch the, the Chinese League, Russian League, because we all know WNBA. I think they better than all the league. league. I, 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 think, I think Uno is a great appreciation for a card game. Like, they got some dope, solid games you can get out of that, right? 
Spades is like a like like you know you got to know like a bunch of shit. You got to read a nigga right off his off his card though. It's crazy, right? Like if he play a three of clubs, he's not just playing the three. He let me know. Hey, you got anything in this? Like, do you can you can you cover me right here? Should we get out this suit for later? It's so much like of a pokerish like you learning, and then you learning the other player. If they throw off, like, why you throw off? You ain't got no space. You only got one high, one left. What's up with you? Like, so it's a constant mental, like, you know, thing. You know what I mean? And because, like, some, I, I can get aggressive. Like, it's that nature where it does get to talking shit and maybe, you know what I mean? It's like, ah, I like dominoes better than anything. You know what I mean? But, like, Uno versus Spades is like, <laughs> come on. With, with right. Uno, I ain't got to worry about I'm, being kicked out of my family if I fuck up. I'm, like, right. yeah, yeah, you, space, space, man, like nigga, you, may, you may not eat but that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm gonna I'm 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 bring I'm bring it home real quick, right? Spades, you know what? You two not liking or thinking Uno is better than Spades lets me know now y'all competitive spirit. All right, because y'all <laughs> never had y'all have never had the opportunity. Y'all never y'all y'all the way you nothing feels better than somebody saying I got seven books. You're the other team saying they got seven books, and you outsmarted them and they don't have seven books and they don't get seven books and the look on their faces after you set them is priceless. Sid, you were a referee in the World Series of Spades. Hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, in, I'm sorry. In the chat, wait, 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 wait. I, I, no, no, I'll let y'all speak. I'll let okay, y'all speak. Okay. Go, 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 I'll go, let y'all speak. You know what I'm saying? You had the opportunity, Sid, to referee the championship round in the World Series of Spades. You've watched me in action, all right? Now, we're not going to tell the outcome of what happens in the championship, but you know I play, we we, we do this. With that being said, Spades has a, spe- a certain competitive spirit that Uno would never have. Spades has a certain get- has a certain grit and attitude that Uno never had. You two laid back motherfuckers, you know what I'm saying? Don't- <laughs> <laughs> you two laid back motherfuckers. Because, like, no, no, all jokes like... I'm not, me and Sid, we not laid back. I'm not laid back at all. Lou, you're way laid back. Will, you're laid back. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, ah, if I lose in Uno, life life goes on tomorrow. If I lose in spades, I got a fucking problem. I got a fucking problem. Hey, like, spades like, might turn your fucking hand off, nigga. That's right. right. It's about, and, and, everything you just said sounded like uh, fucking math leads at math practice. Oh, yeah, when right. you throw when you throw it out in the seven to a equation, you mm-hmm. don't see the little thing. I don't know, I don't know what a fucking book is, but you can't tell me there ain't no sweeter thing than hit yo yo ex girlfriend got the last Uno card and you right next to her and you got. I'm not even playing with that hoe. And yo, you got a draw four in your hand. You got three yeah. draw fours in your hand. You know the difference. And is? it's your turn. Is the biggest difference, right? They give Uno cards at daycare because the kids, can pick it up, right? Ah! <laughs> you, you can't give That's a bunch a of niggas. Checkmate. You can't give a bunch of niggas a daycare like play space, like huh? Like you got to say it's like it's you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I w- I would say this. Luigi is right about one thing. If you fuck up in spades at a at a family barbecue, you might not eat. Like, you might not eat. My family. It's over. They ain't talking to you. Yeah, they tell you know, I know, I know, I'm, I know. I'm not talking to you if we lose. Right. Yeah. See, you gotta get your own ride to the crib. Like yeah. you ain't riding yeah, with dog, us. No, no, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk to you. Yo. you no. Man, we in a whole nother city. You big. Like no. I don't care. I don't care. You should. You you don't 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 don't, don't make mistakes. Pay attention. <laughs> Be alert. And that's right. Right there is why Uno is better yeah. than. Yeah. You, but yeah, you well, that's, and that's why Uno is that's and that's why Uno is the D league. You gotta be alert, Uno too. No, we the WNBA. Y'all the D League. No, we're the we're, we're the high we school. The NBA. Yeah, because well, people, people I've, never, I've never I've never heard the World Series of Uno. I we just now got the World Series of Spades. <laughs> because <laughs> Uno is on PlayStation. Talk your shit, Will. <laughs> Will yeah. Uno is on PlayStation. You got right, here ten minutes got... ago, nigga. Relax. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're right. You're right, but also watch this though. Watch this though. Uno you was never heard of the by- NBA bubble. Like, what do we do? <laughs> <laughs> just, Uno, Uno, Uno was founded by the white man. All right. Spades was founded by black soldiers who came who came back from the World War II. <laughs> I'm, I'm paying tribute to my ancestors. Y'all but, go ahead and play the white man. What cards did they use to uh, make Spades, and who did they get it from? 
The white man. It don't matter. No, when no. I done, no. When I did white cards, you my ancestors, black my ancestors black ancestors played no, spades with they drew cards on on on, on loose leaf paper. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Don't play our don't play our people like that. Sydney, it's your turn. I'm not even finna acknowledge that. Sydney, it is your go. We've already done general black culture and music. We got food and movies slash television remaining. Which one of those two would you like? Movies and television. Movies All and right. television. All right, let's do it. All right, continue in the bus throwing. Um, I've never finished watching Belly. Neither have I. Wow. Mm-hmm. I get through that. Will, but... I couldn't get through it, man. It's it's it's, it's shot too poorly. I'm sorry. <laughs> like I get it, but nah. So you didn't like CB4 either? CB4 no. is the most fought, one of the most underrated movies I've ever watched. That shit is hilarious. It is funny, but I'm not. You know. Well, whenever y'all you didn't want to see if Nas and then went to Africa or not, you didn't want to. That's what threw me all the way off because I saw the end part. I was like, this is not Africa. This is New York. <laughs> What is happening? <laughs> like the first thing he was like, wow, Africa is beautiful, man. I'm like, this is Times Square. What the fuck is going on? Then to find out he didn't want to film no more, so they couldn't film that part. I'm like, I will shout out Hype Williams for that, though. Yeah, he did what he could, and I give him respect for that. Absolutely. Belly not one of the movies I can like quote or remember. Like, I remember certain scenes, but I don't watch Belly over and over again like I do other right. movies. Right. Like I'm familiar with Belly. Like, oh yeah, I know mm-hmm. Nas. I remember the Jamaican nigga and fucking the girl in the car. Like, oh, I remember Belly. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Like, I can't be like, oh, and then like, I, it's like yeah, I me neither. I remember okay. a couple lines, but I, I feel what y'all saying. I just remember I don't like that shit. And then when fucking Method Man was standing outside, I rode Dolo from state to state. Ah, yeah. like I remember that shit. But other yeah. than that, that's it. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, you got me. So, <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and put this up and see what we got. All right. Sydney, would you please read that out loud for the folks at home? <laughs> oh it's my like, goodness. No, I know it was. It's the same nigga that's a jagged edge nigga. It's the same, it has to be the same nigga because it's the same thought process. It's the Martin and G. It's the same thought process. Call this nigga out. This is Clint Coley. This is Martin and Gina are not a top five black TV couple. You out your mind. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. First of all, we only have five fucking black shows. They gotta be tough five. <laughs> I want. I want to. Oh, well, first, Clint, is this you? Is no, yes, it's yeah, him. I, Let I me finish. It. Yes, it's him. Okay. It's, it's, it. hey, what he's gonna Definitely do? Clint. It's gonna go like, well, what did they move the culture? Like, if you got nope. the hustle, <laughs> and, then, and then you nope. got, and then you got Billy, you got Claire, and then you got the Frank Brent, the David Philly, and then you got the, the good time. <laughs> Martin and Gina spoke to the young black couple, the young black couple going through it. The young black couple experienced a vulnerable man, jealousy, a prideful nigga, a nigga yes. when sometimes she make more money than you, like, yes. uh, like trying to make the best decisions and, you, and then she leave you like all that. When they broke up, when they broke up, it was like, I lost my girl too. Like, Damn, I, when Brian McKnight Knight was singing in the back, it was like, I, this is not even a TV yes. show no more. This young yes. black love. Man, get, I know Clint said it. I know yeah. Clint said it. I know he said it. I know he said it. But, and, they, and, and they truly enjoyed each other too. Like when they had yes. their really, really good moments, like they enjoyed each other. They had fun with each other, man. Like they just, they were there for each other, man. So like they had that, that balance of like, all right, Chemistry. yeah, I know I fucked up on this side, but they also had that side that you aspire to want to be like, man, I want a girl that's like Gina or, or some girls might have been like, I want a guy that's like, that's crazy and silly like Martin. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people aspire to want to be yeah. like a Martin and Gina. Yo, they in Living Color was so dope because they used to break each other to me. Like they used to like laugh at, in the scene like they was trying to hide the laughter. Yes. Martin and Gina, like you can look at Gina being like, it made it like, they got such good chemistry. Martin is so funny, yes. yeah. But they got such, and they she could hold her weight. She was singing on the show like it was like a man. This show, man. This this nigga, dog. Yeah. Dog. All right, all right, dog. Okay. All right. Clint, first, let us know if this was or was not you. It was um, absolutely me. All right. So now that we do know, 
You now have the floor, sir. Please. Now, well, now I, I, I let I let I let Sydney say what he said, right? Yes. All right? Now I understand. First of all, you know you know why we think Martin and Gina is a top five TV couple because we just like the show so much. You know what I'm saying? The show was so iconic. The show was so funny. And yes, they did have great chemistry. But you know what else they had? Martin Lawrence on the show. If you really want to get technical, number one, how do you ask your girl? to marry you by saying, damn, Gina, all right, I'll marry you, huh? Or how about how many times he's kicking out his friends out of his apartment? They're not a top five couple. You know why they're not a top five couple? Because Martin's not a top five boyfriend, all right? Martin was an awful boyfriend. Gina actually settled for that nigga if you really want to get technical. Here's who my top five TV couples are, all right? In no order, I'm just going to give you the couples that you might have forgot about. You want to talk about positivity? Let's talk about Overton and Sinclair. Very bubbly couple, a lot of fun, a, a couple who really loved each other, a couple who enjoyed themselves, a couple, but they didn't have the, they didn't have the I, same flair as Martin and G. That's so disrespectful. Don't disrespect me like that, dog. I hate you. Next, next thing, next thing, the second, the second couple, the second couple for me is Whitley and Dwayne Wayne. All right. Now you can sit here and say whatever you want to say about them. Dwayne Wayne earned her love. Dwayne Solid Wayne couple. earned her That's solid couple. couple. Great I'm going to give you a third couple. I'm going to give you a third couple. All right. Actually, it, this wasn't even Gina's, uh, Tisha Campbell's best couple. Her best couple was being Mrs. Kyle, Michael and, and Jay Kyle. Yes. That was a great couple. My wife and kids. They were an awesome couple. They awesome. fed off each other very well. I like them better than I like Martin and Gina. They had a lot of fun together. They were married. They had three beautiful kids. And they were still able to enjoy their marriage inside of having three kids. And they also had relationship problems. Michael Kyle was an entrepreneur, a black entrepreneur and a black business owner. And on top of that, on top of that, he also he also respected his wife doing things outside of their relationship and outside of, of outside of them. All right. So now that's three. Number four TV couple in my in, in my opinion, in my opinion. Number four, bro, give me Uncle Phil and Black Aunt Viv. Let me tell you about them that couple for a second. All right. Now Uncle Phil, very 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 prominent lawyer. But don't forget Aunt Viv wasn't no slouch. You do know she was an English professor at a college. Not only on top of that. Uncle Phil was able to say, like, don't forget, Aunt, Aunt, uh, Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv, they they meshed together. They had a lot of fun together. They did, they they protested in the civil rights movement together. <laughs> you know, so that that's that's four. And then then last then last but not least, my favorite my favorite TV couple, Flavor Flav and Hoops. All right, yeah. Flavor Flav. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> All, All right. right. All right. Can I, now, I was with I, you. I, 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 I was like, yo, bro, he, he almost doing got so it. Almost got I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. He I'm joking. almost no, had his fire. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but my number my number five uh, TV couple, uh, and this is just for me, um, I was a real big fan of um, of George and Weezy. And, and mainly because I could, and even though I wasn't out when, and I, I had to go rewatch the show when I was older, you know what I'm saying? What I liked about George and Weezy was was that Weezy, even though George was so arrogant and so 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 and such a bigot with everybody else, with Weezy he was different. With Weezy he was soft. He knew he couldn't move without her, and he knew that that was that was somebody that he needed in his corner at all times. So in my opinion, no, I don't think Martin and Gina was a top five TV couple. I don't think Martin and Gina really had everything that I look for in a relationship. And at the end of the day, everybody say, oh, they're couples goals because of the times that they're silly. But let me tell you something. There is something very hurtful about about asking, telling your girlfriend, all right, yo, fuck it, I'm gonna just marry you because I because you ain't got nothing else better to do. And other things that he did in that relationship, he was very toxic, he was very insecure, and he only My cared God. about himself. You sound, I won't tell you you sound like if we was on the phone, I'll have the funniest joke right now, but because this is Aaron, I can't say it. But call me afterwards. I got a funny joke for him. I'm not calling you. And nigga, you're gonna call me. Nigga, I, I give you the um uh what's the what's the young couple you, you named? Um Whitley and Dwayne. Like that was a great example. All your other examples, it's like, yeah, you named traditional older couples, this niggas, of course. Like Sinclair I said, Claire and Overton weren't old. old. Yeah, you 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 didn't mean to say that. So I think that <laughs> Like Martin and Gina, like I said, with a young, let me tell y'all this: if if, young, if I do the shit he coach, did, coach, hold on, 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 hold on,
Like, yeah, of course they were immature. They were young as shit. I think yeah. the reason you appreciated my wife and kids is because you saw Gina grow up on TV as a young woman. And now you act, you see her as a grown ass adult with kids, a different perspective. And to her credit, she's such a dope ass actress. She played a young girl in a relationship so fun. It was so relatable. And then of course, when she got older, she played my wife and kids and brought you into that. That's like just a tale to her acting ability. You know what I mean? That she, she made you love her as an older mom. You know what I mean? She was still dope. Right. But I think Sinclair and the other lady uh, was cool. But to me, just the more of the couple that I understood that I could relate to is a young nigga who don't got it all together. He just got his ego and he yeah. got a chick that's down for him. And he I can't relate to that. And he finna fuck up. You know I can't mean? relate to that. Whatever, whatever. And then when she leave, he like, that's when he realized, oh shit. You know what I mean? He's young. You put right. Martin, if Martin had stayed in it, I think it, and, and like at 45 had a multi cam, you know what I mean? I think we just saw a different kind of Martin too, like Gina, you know what I mean? 100%. 100%. Yeah, I think I think the thing too you gotta remember like uh Sydney said like they were young and so of course like you gonna have the fuck boy she dates like that's the one she gonna give a chance that's the one she gonna go back and forth with and as you saw even mm-hmm. like towards the end she was getting her stuff together and was kind of distancing herself from Martin it was kind of like yo and he was starting to kind of do his thing so they stuff was kind of starting to fizzle out too then you know if you really want to try to tie the universe in nigga she went met the fucking Kyle dude got pregnant and then had my wife and kid. So it was like it's a very accurate like depiction of a young couple. At but, but 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 the, the thing is, I said they're not a top five TV couple. And you know the point that City keeps making is is that I relate, I relate, I relate. Well, City, you and I ain't the same person. You know what I'm saying? That's and why, the, nigga. Why are you getting sensitive? That's why it's three, four niggas on. Nigga, here. who the fuck? Ain't nobody. Wait, 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 wait. Nobody, nobody's getting sensitive. I'm. I, the point is, I'm saying you're saying that's you relate to them. That's not. That's not a yeah. sensitive comment. That's that's a fact. We so all what I'm stuff sa- because of how we relate to it, though. right? But what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, is that I'm not. It's not even. I'm not. I'm, I'm saying is the I. I don't. Re- I didn't relate to Martin. I don't. I didn't like Martin's character on, on Martin. To be honest with you, really? I didn't. I just. Really? I, I just didn't. I thought he was. I thought he had a short man complex. I thought he was. Like, I never. I. I think the show was absolutely funny. I think the show moved the culture forward. Blah 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 blah. But you're. I mean, we're talking about them as a couple on camera. No. Then to me, I like five other couples. That I think are better than them. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not disagreeing with you. Y'all. Well, everything, every point y'all made about Martin and Gina ain't wrong. I'm just saying that don't make me feel I like they're top five. For you. That's all I'm saying. Nobody's being yeah. sensitive. That makes sense. Yeah, it make, I mean, shit, but uh, yeah, I, for me, <laughs> they, they 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 top five for me. I fuck with them. As I'm far like, as far as realism go, yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, where this nigga go? If I like, cause no, it's easy to call a nigga sensitive when he making his point. Like, oh, no, no, but you said this. This you said you shit. Like, Ain't nobody sensitive. They nobody sensitive. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, now, it was it it was this. And, and, that and was now, just and, yeah, now niggas gonna watch this episode like Clinton's feelings. Like it's, it's always Clinton's feelings. Clinton's not his feelings, man. Clinton's not his feelings. I'm sensitive. It's me. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> you toxic. You toxic. <laughs> 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 all right y'all listen we, we, we've had all of y'all go i think we have what one more what it was um music or uh no, no food music. food, food. food. Yeah, well, let's just go it. ahead and uh throw up food and then uh i'm gonna let lewis go ahead and, and make his assumption all right give me one set up uh, let me go back to this page and while that's happening back to some bus throwing I think catfish is trash. I think catfish oh. is is only oh. it's trash. Oh. Hey, hey, Lou, 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 real quick. Some catfish is. Some catfish is. You gotta Lou, go. Lou, what's up? Will, can, Lou, real quick. Can you please yeah. tell Will he got to come over for some catfish? You definitely got to try. You definitely got to try some of Clint's catfish. Nah, I'm a, I'm allergic, so I'm a hater. That, that's why. Well, I <laughs> like I hate, well, I hate the big all cat. Hate We're gonna be like, yeah, yeah this cat is good, man. Oh, yeah, so yeah. I got these fucking hives. I can't I breathe, nigga. My throat's closing up, nigga. I can't. <laughs> like, yo, dog, what's wrong with your face? It's nothing, man. I'm cool. Um, the big catfish, on the big catfish fillets, like the big ones, like you can get like a restaurant, the big fry ones. I can't stand. Now take me like off the uh, penguins fish, off pico and the pico over there. Ooh. I still gotta go there. I haven't been there yet. Ooh. Give, give me the fried catfish, like the the crispy, like like all day. Like I gotta, I, I get that at least once a month is my craving. I gotta go down there and go get my shit. 
said, do you fuck with catfish nuggets too? If they're they did, if, if they fried <laughs> hard, you know what I mean? Yes. No, that's what I'm saying though, they catfish nuggets. Is... Yes, I'm all yeah. about catfish nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, I could fry me some catfish though. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's that my shit like, mm, mm. I've yeah. had it multiple times, I had, yeah. I'm oh, sure it's delectable. It's it busy. Oh yeah, good season too. Like uh, good, a good catfish fry. Oh yeah. Sorry, I just said memories. Whenever y'all ready, let's do it. Man, go ahead and put it I'm up. I'm ready, saying. Jike. I hate I... chicken legs and thighs. So you hate chicken? That's what you're saying. No, this is wings and breasts. Nah, no, you hate chicken. There's a little bit more left over there. There's more. There's more on it. Uh, I... See, wait. I'm get. I'm guessing who said this, right? Or it sounds like a dick. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's guess. It ain't me. Uh. Well, I make chicken and th legs and thighs. So right, it ain't me. right, right, right. Uh, <laughs> don't let that fool you, though, Lou. Don't let that fool you, because he That's could just true. be saying that just to say it. Could just be playing a mind uh, game. Has chicken legs and thighs really moved the culture? <laughs> are they considered classics in the like? Are they, are they yes, classics? Yes. 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 Um, are they legends? Let's just. Are they legends? I'm gonna, um, does 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 Kadeem throw in an answer in these two, or is it I just the four of us? Just four of us. No, no, it's just I'm right, so, Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Sydney on it with Sid on this one, man. Sid don't like motherfucking chicken legs and and thighs. Hey. I can't stand motherfucking chicken legs and thighs. Like, I I can't stand them. Like, I would like chicken legs and thighs if I never had a breast or a wing. Like, why the fuck is it even in my off my package? I never get the <laughs> duck. I never ordered the dark meat mix. Never, nigga. Never. Is it more expensive for the breast and the wing? Probably fill it up. I can't stand a leg. I remember. I remember a long time ago. Like, I got in an argument. A girl was saying a joke, but for real, she. She's like, well, you ain't had my chicken legs. I was like, lady, I don't like legs. I don't like them baked. I don't like them fried. On the grill, on the grill, barbecue grill, the yeah. flavor of that, I can rock with a leg for a little bit. But you're not gonna just see me eating the carcass, just a bunch of legs, just throwing them back. No, give me a <laughs> wing. Give me a wing. I hate the part of me where it come off and it look like a, it's like, just the legs. I, give me a wing, a breast. All day, bro. If you got a cookout and you only got legs and only got thighs to offer, like I'll ask you, did you need me to bring some meat? Damn. Hey, I will bring legs is my favorite part, man. You know, I'm gonna tell you, man. When we talk bad, real about... quick, I like chicken legs and thighs in like soups or like a like a shit like that. Like you know what I mean? Like Broken up. Some, yeah, like but off the bone, I will eat a thigh. You know what I mean? But fuck out of here. Give me a breast. Clint, what were you about to say? Sid, did you go to church growing up? You're from, you're from Texas, you went to church. I know you did, you had to. You went to church, you know what I'm saying? And then after church, normally sometimes they would they would there'd be church dinners, you know what I'm saying? And they always had chicken legs and thighs, you know what I'm saying? Now, your preference is your preference, you know what I mean? But I'm gonna be honest, legs are the goat. Like legs are top tier chicken, yo. Leg Ooh. is top Ooh. tier Ooh. chicken. The culture. The culture. Boy. Legs are chop. Listen, legs are top tier chicken. It I'm goes leg. It goes leg, thigh, yes. wing, breast. All right. Bottom? Just <laughs> I'm no, with you. Breast, it, breast, no, breast. I don't need. I don't even like. I don't like white meat like that. I'm gonna be honest. Fuck sir. white meat. Listen, I don't sir. like anything white. I eat sir. white meat, sir. First of all, you you got that list. White chicken meat. It's wings, number one, legs, then breasts. Throw them thighs. Thighs shouldn't even be in there, bro. Thighs I love a thigh. I love I, thighs. Only thighs I like is on a woman. That's a wing, breast, thigh, leg. Wing, breast, thigh, leg. You don't never go to Popeyes to get the thighs. Like, oh, man. I, <laughs> you ain't never walked in like, y'all got thigh special? Yeah. Y'all got thigh special? <laughs> Let me get three thighs. <laughs> Let me get an eight piece size. That's it. You never hear, do you have a leg combo? Like you have to, can I get three legs and some fries? Can I get four legs? Like, sir, relax. Do you want, you know what I mean? It's like, they don't even, Popeyes don't even serve fried legs, do they? Yeah, no, nah, give me all legs. Yeah, yeah. Legs. 
they I got like places legs, that, man. They got places that do like all legs, but you but anytime, bro, it, it's either wings. Everybody got wings. Like clearly, wings is number one. Wings the bologna style. of chicken. Well, what kind of wings are we talking about though? Like, are we talking about like an actual chicken wing? Or are we talking about like the drums and flats? Because I don't if fuck we, with flats. If we talking about an actual chicken wing, you can't tell me Chinese spots don't have some of the most fire cool chicken wings. That's why I, it's number I, one. I, I okay, you know what? You know, I'm not even mad at that. I'm not even mad at you're right. I just had some two, I had four wings from the Chinese spot. You're right. You're right. Nope. Number two is drumsticks because drumsticks are universal. You can do anything with them. Like you can buy a whole like twelve pack and you'll be good for the week. Man, that was the college struggle, man. I don't know if you're still doing that now because you know y'all all succeeded. drumsticks are best. Like that, be honest with you, drumsticks are best. You open them out the package and you throw them bitches away. <laughs> uh, nope, don't need these. That's how you enjoy them the best. <laughs> You can, fry like up, you can fry them up first. You can fry them up first, but then take that bitch and throw that bitch in the trash. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, chicken legs, man. I'm, I'm always, I'm down for the chicken legs all if day. If she make me chicken legs, I know she don't like me. She but, mad uh, if she make that, you man. chicken legs? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. My wife, what? I love my wife. You make me chicken legs, you not fuck with me right now. I get it. <laughs> Damn, that's, I mean, that's a real shit right there. That's a real sign.